Christian is the strongest person that I know. The strongest person. They told me he wasn't going to be here. They told me he was going to need a kidney transplant when he was two. They told me straight up, we cannot explain how his kidney hung on. Christian is an absolute miracle. Probably when I was about 14 weeks pregnant, I was told that he had a rare disease called Primilli syndrome. Most children with his disease don't live. And even if they live, they probably only live for a few hours. He had his first surgery when he was 17 days old. He only had one kidney that was functioning at 23% kidney function. He spent the first five years of his life in hospitals. Never one time did he ever complain about nothing. When I read what his wish was, it made me cry because Christian has never asked for anything. And for him to have this wish is the most amazing thing that could ever happen to someone like him. Oh my God, hey, hey. Happy Christmas! <laughs> You're from Budgie! <laughs> Oh, oh, hi. It's so good to be here. So excited to be here. Bungie's in my house. <laughs> I was starting to freak out a little bit. Not You're from Bungie too. <laughs> I knew. Christian had a very unique and very very special wish. He wished to be immortalized in Destiny, and more than having him immortalized, he wished for his dog Artemis to be immortalized. Destiny to me isn't just a game, it's, it's taught me a lot of stuff. <laughs> I remember my first trials match with my first friends, I remember my first raid, I remember my first dungeon, I remember all this stuff, and it's because of the people I met along the way. And I feel like no other game besides Destiny has been able to replicate that. It taught me through the community that, that there's a lot of good people out there. For us to receive a wish that was so meaningful, we knew that we had to knock it out of the park. We came up with this concept of creating an emote of Artemis, of Christian's dog, in-game. The pain was so bad, and I just thought about just giving up completely, because it just sucked, completely sucked. I was at a place where I don't think anyone could reach me. Something about Artemis, like every day, he would just be there, or watch him swim, and see him smile, and just wagging his tail. It made me think the world wasn't so bad. Things weren't so bad after all. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't think I would have ever even made it without him, because. Um, I thought, um, I thought I'd never recover. He just, he feels like more than a dog. He's like, it's, it's my best friend, he's my pal. Very excited. This is a really the other thing that we really wanted to bring in was the telling of Christian's story in a Destiny-themed way. And so our narrative team made just the most beautiful piece of lore named after Christian's character, Prime 40, and Artemis's character. Oh my god! <laughs> Artemis trotted over to him and whined. Prime 40 knelt and scratched him behind his ears. Is that gonna be in the game? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> That's amazing. There's so many stories out there where dogs just pull people from like their deepest, darkest places. To have that reflected in the lore and have that reflected in the world is almost like, that's what dogs should stand for. They get you through the first day and they prepare you for the next one. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> you know, it's so special to see a Wish Kid's special day. He's been through so much and Destiny has provided him so much through some of the darkest days for him. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> say hi, everyone. Hi, how's it going? When he was talking to the development team, that was 
a highlight for him. I worked with the team to write the Lortab story. Um, I thank you so much for that. I am so, no, seriously, thank you so much for that. I absolutely enjoyed that. That was everything I'd hoped for and more. <laughs> I think Christian and his story and what Christian has gone through is incredibly inspiring. And I think it's something that's going to inspire millions of, of Destiny players. So we are putting the emote in game to sell for charity. We also will be selling on the Bungie store the most adorable little plushie of a Belgian Malinois dog. Folks will be able to purchase that with 100% of proceeds going to charity as well, and they can have their own little mini Artemis in their home. I am very thankful and grateful that I was given the opportunity to be his mother. He's never let anything stop him from doing what he wanted to do. I'm going to move to Texas for Texas State University, and then if I have a chance to be part of like the narrative team in Bungie, I'll totally strive to take that 100%. Seeing him in there now, it's like exactly what I wanted. I feel like it's good to give that importance that dogs are more than what they appear to be. I couldn't really want anything else, to be honest with you. Oh boy.